Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I have a plan with me featuring this really cute kit from Jessica Hearts, and it is the Knights in New York kit, and I think it's super cute. I got this kit a while ago, and it's my second ever photo kit that I've ever used. The first one I used was from Birch and Birdie, and I used it last summer. Um, and that was different for a lot of reasons, like it was not glossy paper, and it was, yeah, it was just all new. And so I don't think, no, I know for a fact I'm not a weekly photo kit user, um, or even kind of on the regular, but I'm down for like once every six months to throw it in, or <laughs> I don't know, um, when one really speaks to me, so this kit was part of one of her travel weekends, which I think is the coolest theme, especially for a photo kit shop. I think it's really fitting as well, but just in general, I think it's really cute. Obviously, I'm not going to all these places, but um, it's a cool idea and cool theme. So New York, this kit came out a while ago, like I said, and I saw it and I just immediately thought February. It has to be used in February. Like I almost used this for my Valentine's Day week until I put together the amazing Corella kind of kit that I put together. Um, I just, just said put together like three times. Anyways, um, so I just thought the colors were perfect for Valentine's Day. And it was funny because the shop owner, Jessica, was saying like the same thing. And I was like, okay, that makes me feel so much better that I was on the same wavelength as the owner and creator of this <laughs> but I love New York and I just feel like this captured it so well and it captures like my version of New York like I don't know New York can look very different depending on how you want to spend your time there and I the bottom washi is really what got me the scene is so pretty and then she created foil overlays with like all the different districts of New York and it's just like oh, so good so so good so i was really drawn into that kind of aspect of it um there was a little bit of a like cutting thing that i had to cut it myself but um overall this was a mini kit and i definitely had to pull in quite a bit from my own collection so i i don't know it's just so hard because I'm not like an avid photo kit user, so I don't know necessarily if I want to jump up to the bigger size, but with my type of style, I think I would need to for photo kits because I think a lot of people that use the mini kits, they use a lot of like breathing room in their um, planning, which I do not. So I definitely needed to pull in quite a few boxes, um, but that I, I was prepared to do that and I knew that I could do that because of all the, the color scheme was like your pinks and I have a ton of extra pink full boxes. So it was not the shop's fault, like I knew what I was getting myself into and yeah. I love the additional overlays and I chose gold, but you could choose any foil color, which I think is so great and I even added on some of the like extra deco bits just kind of to the corners of photos or photo full boxes just for like a little extra something but I chose the gold overlays but in hindsight I kind of wish I would have done the rose gold or the pinky but it's okay I, I do think either works really well and maybe it was meant to be maybe gold contrasted like enough and the pinky would have just kind of faded I'm not sure but um it was kind of a change not to do deco up at the top but I, I leaned into it I didn't I just let it breathe and um I couldn't resist though doing bougie full boxes so you will see that I did pull those in I debated not doing it but I just had to and then I did need an extra ninth box, so I did pull in a kind of clip art style one from the SPC October Mystery. It was a food flat lay that quite literally screamed Valentine's Day, and you'll see it in a minute because I'll put it at the bottom of the sidebar, and I actually think it worked out pretty well. I would typically say that photo kits and like clip art type of kits do not mesh like you cannot franken plan them in my personal opinion or like I wouldn't franken plan them I should say you could 
it's your plan it's your life but um I personally would however I think it worked out so hopefully you agree and don't judge me too hard um yeah so I'm happy with that and I think it was better than trying to stick like a fashion girl or something else like I I do truly think it worked pretty good um and then I did add some gold. I kind of leaned into the foil a little bit extra this week. Not too much, but just a little bit more. So on the sidebar where I have like those pink dividers, I added these gold um, squiggles from Sugar Pop Fizz in their dividers. And I kind of forgot that I had dividers. Like I went through a little phase of them and then I definitely exited out pretty fast just because I just don't use foil as much. I mean, I use foil in different capacities, I should say. So I was really debating on trying to put like another script overlay or something, um, but I ended up just doing these corners from Sadie stickers that I got a really long time ago. And it's funny, I kind of blanked out on the shop name for a second, which seems so funny because like there was a time where I was checking like their shop and so many of the, those foil shops like re, like every Tuesday for their $2 Tuesday like refreshing refreshing and I didn't always buy on $2 Tuesday but I would just had to be in the know and see it all first and all this stuff and now I think about it I'm like I have not looked at so many of those types of shops in so long because they moved um into like super dainty decorative which is so not my style so I just kind of was cracking up at that. Let me know if you, like, you don't have to name the shop, but, like, do you know that feeling of, like, a shop that you used to follow, like, really, really closely, and then all of a sudden, like, just you don't? And it doesn't necessarily, it's no bad blood. There's no particular reason, but um, it's just kind of, like, what you obsess over or, like, what you are interested in at the time. I don't know random maybe that didn't make sense at all and that's fair (laughs) um the date dots that i'm pulling in are also from sugar pop fizz and i love that font and it's of course in gold foil i'm using some of the bigger boxes to mark school this week i crack up because i also when i first started decorative planning i would mark school on like a little thing a little thing and It's what consumes most of my day. I'm there for over eight hours and I would use a little thing to mark it and I'm just cracking up and then I like slowly move to like a little like label add on or like whatever those quarter boxes and then now I'm like yeah it deserves a half box like it it deserves almost I know there are some people that mark work for like one full full box of their two full box um is like for (laughs) for the day um if that makes sense but yeah I'm like it's most of my day so it deserves a half box but it's just another one of those things that I reflect on and I'm like why was I using like an appointment like a little thing to mark the biggest chunk of my day but whatever teach their own let me know if you have any other like any things like that where you look back on your planning you're like wait what why did you do that (laughs) because that's something I definitely have when I've gone back and look at old planners I've realized and I just crack myself up over and I'm curious to know if you have any of those like funny moments as well so here I am pulling in my Carly Plans backpack because Carly Plans backpacks are life it was so weird planning for this next week because we're on midwinter break and I went to go like pull my backpacks and I'm like oh sad no backpacks really needed I only need like a couple it's only a half day week um so I just like rely on them so much (laughs) And then the school script I'm using is from, I think, Kinsey's Creations. But I'm also marking um, a meeting that I had that morning. It was online, so I just used the retro computer from Carly Plans as well. But let's see. There's not too much to this week. It was the week leading up to Valentine's Day. We did host my family over for my mom's birthday celebration, which was fun. I did my first balloon arch. If you've done a balloon arch, let me know because, yeah, (laughs) I basically started it 45 minutes before people came for my first ever one and I made it happen, but, um, and it, it, 
it looked decent. I'll give myself some credit. However, I was just cracking up because it's a time commitment. Like, it's a lot of work. And you kind of have to be strategic about where you place them and layer them. And I don't know, you have like glue dots and where you place the extra ones on top to kind of cover up any hole. I don't know. It's intense. So it was good. It was worth it. It was so fun to have family over. That was the first time my siblings have seen my house, which seems really crazy, but you know, life is busy. Everybody is grown adults. So it happens. And yeah, it was like a mad dash to clean everything up, get everything ready. But it felt really good afterwards. Just like look around and be like, wow, this place really is clean. (laughs) And sometimes family can motivate you to do that or like hosting can motivate you to do that. So it's a good little kick that you need. Um, I don't know if I said this, my school script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then that meeting script on Friday morning is from Planet Hannah and Font 4 and it's perfect for one of those little things and then i'm just choosing my highlight sticker from the fruity sticker co which i'm being a little more stingy about these days because i don't have more to restock on oh yeah i ripped that up i was like i'm gonna cover that up anyway so i don't know why i put that there then for um I don't think I really had much other pre-planning except on Thursday I got together with my mom because we had an eyebrow appointment and um, I think that's really it this week. Oh yeah, here I'm using a little paper and milk character to mark celebrating my mom's birthday. I just stuck in that SPC one that we got in the mystery. I just stuck it in my general birthday collection because I felt like it was not kid specific and I didn't want to forget to use them and oh yes I'm marking my mom's actual birthday with a little Carly Plans cupcake and the happy birthday script is also from Carly Plans and I love that it's perfect for a little thing which is exactly how I like to mark my birthdays and then um I like how the happy birthday is stacked and then you can write the name on the side. That's at least what I do and I personally love it. (laughs) Then I, oh yeah, I'm checking back to my monthly, which I will be posting a video on my monthly as well. And also while I'm figuring my life out over here, I apologize that I uploaded this video and I have recorded this voiceover, I think three times now. And I uploaded it and I had sound and all of a sudden I got a message from Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle of McPlans. She was like, oh, I don't think your sound's working. I'm like, no. And so I went over and I'm like, of course it's not working. So. so I apologize if you clicked on the video and there was no sound. And I'm sorry, it took a couple extra days to get up. But here we are now and hopefully um, it's working this time. But let's skip to the end. All right. Here is my finished spread. Let's try to catch some of that gold foil. I love this bottom washi overlays. Um, Overall, it was a pretty good week. It was interesting using a photo kit again because this is my only, uh, the second photo kit I've ever used in my first kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. And um, I love her kit and her format was pretty good. I did have to bring in quite a bit and her little things aren't like my absolute favorite with the little like bookmark thing at the end. Um, But and like the lighter tone, but that's okay. I made it work and thankfully I have a lot of pink shades. So that worked out really well and I knew that in advance. Um, I'm not sure if photo kits are for me, but it was fun stepping outside of my comfort zone, trying something new, and doing a true traditional February pink spread because I don't do many of these. But I already laid down next week's and I'm really excited. I'll give a little sneak peek, but yeah, so overall it was a pretty decent week. We hosted my family over for the first time to celebrate my mom's birthday, so it was like a ton of cleaning to prep for that. But that was really fun. Started a couple new shows. Started Murderville, um, which is on Netflix. And that's pretty funny. Um, I started How I Met Your Father on Hulu. And started Joe Millionaire, which 
all great shows. <laughs> um, I didn't get deep into many of them, but yeah. Um, lots of kind of decompressing at night and just being kind of exhausted. I marked having a good day with my class with this little cheerleader script or sticker from um, Michelle from McPlans, which I thought was really cute. And speaking of her, she made these adorable custom coffee cups like the ones that I sell I literally wrote OMG and so I got some happy mail from her and then she included those in she drew those up didn't even tell me oh, they're so cute I literally lost my mind um oh love is blind that's the other new show it was full of no new shows especially in the weekend which is always great so yeah overall decent week um weekend was nice good balance of like getting stuff done social and like relaxing so let me know if you watch any of those shows let's chat about it because i got lots of thoughts anyways i hope you have a great week thanks so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video bye everyone